All right, guys, so today I'm gonna go over my top six cities that I think could do well with a potential NFL, MLB, NBA, or NHL team that currently have none of those. So this is for a, a city that does not have any professional team, any of the big four. It's not including MLS. It's just the big four professional sports in North America. Which cities do I think could do well and thrive with an NHL team, NBA, NFL, whatever. Uh, but let's kick it off, guys. At number six, it is Quebec City, Quebec in Canada. And obviously, I'm going to choose hockey for this one, the NHL, them possibly getting the Arizona Coyotes. It definitely feels like, you know, if the world was fair, they would be the ones getting the Coyotes. But, you know, their overall market might limit them in comparison to some of their options like Houston, maybe Atlanta. But guys, this city, you know, they love hockey. They had a team before. They've got an amazing stadium that just got a renovation. The exterior of it looks so modern. And it's crazy that they've got an arena that's significantly better than a lot of other NHL teams, but they don't have their own team it just makes too much sense. Quebec City, with that arena, should have an NHL team. Will they get the Coyotes? I don't know. We'll see. Right now, the odds are not looking very good, but it is very early in a potential relocation process for the Coyotes. Either way, Quebec City does deserve a team. They would do well in terms of attendance, and they have the stadium ready for it. My number five city is Honolulu, Hawaii. And I just think, you know, there would definitely be some issues in terms of travel. But Honolulu, it, it's not necessarily as bad as you would think. You know, you could say, well, Honolulu would only work for an NFL team. But Honolulu does have a, a sizable population, a sizable market. I think you could really make Hawaii work as like a resort destination for an NBA team, for an MLB team. It would be a major risk, yes, but with Hawaii, it's like we don't really know how a team would do. You do have, you know, Hawaii University, but they have had horrible stadium situation the past, you know, 20 years. The Pro Bowl was down there. Aloha Stadium was terrible. I just think Hawaii selling it as kind of like a resort destination, but you also do have a sizable population inland. It feels like a good fit, and I'm sure the players would love going there. I believe, you know, you're talking about a five-hour plane ride. I do think you can make it work. It would probably be easier for basketball because they get more off days than baseball. But, you know, obviously the best option would be like NFL where you'd only be playing one game a week. The NFL needs to do something with it or at least like market themselves better because it is, you know, the one like paradise type place that the United States does have. So I think Honolulu could succeed, but I do also think it would be a major risk, especially with MLB attendance if they got a team down there. It would be so fun to see a stadium, like a billion dollar stadium actually get designed. I know they're trying to design Hawaii University, the Rainbow Warriors, but they're on like half a billion dollar budget. They can't get any funding. It kind of looks just like, eh, if they actually were able to take advantage of the weather, the trees, that the atmosphere, like by the beach, it would be so amazing and so futuristic. So Honolulu comes in at number five. At number four, it is Omaha, Nebraska or Lincoln, Nebraska. You know, Omaha is definitely bigger than Lincoln. Lincoln, we know the amazing support they've had for the Nebraska college football team. I could really see an MLB team succeeding here. You know, obviously an NFL team will succeed anywhere. Or maybe an NBA team. I just think Nebraska... You know, everyone kind of jokes and says there's nothing to do there. I think that would help the attendance. This would be their one thing. It would be their one pro team. I know it's not going to be like the college team, but still, people would rally around it. You know, Omaha doesn't have any professional sports. Lincoln doesn't have any professional sports. This would be something. 
I actually once created a made-up Nebraska expansion MLB team once called the Nebraska Thunder. I think that's a great thing. Listen, if they've got that much support for the college football team and the team is that bad, I know it's different, but still, you would think during the summer those people are going to need something to do. You bring in an MLB team there. You know, you could sell out a lot of nights and there would be a lot of demand. The players probably wouldn't like it. I mean, I love that type of living out, you know, Nebraska, Iowa. That's that's fine for me. I was actually going to have Des Moines on my list, but I decided to go with either Omaha or Lincoln, Nebraska. You know, there's pros and cons for both. Omaha is bigger in terms of population and it's got like a bigger metro area. Uh, Lincoln is more of a college town, but either one to me would be good. At number three on cities that deserve their first professional sports team, it is Louisville, Kentucky. This one is rather obvious. It fits very, very easily for a potential expansion or relocation NBA team. They already have like an NBA level arena there, the KFC Yum Center, where I believe it has like a capacity of 22,000. It's like bigger than almost every NBA arena. That is Louisville University, the college basketball team, their home arena. But yeah, Louisville is just too big not to get a franchise at some point. I would say the NBA, you could also make a case for an MLB team. There was a recent kind of cool rendering that I saw of a potential MLB stadium for a relocation, uh, like Louisville Knights type thing. They looked really nice. But either way, Louisville, Kentucky is going to be on the top of everyone's list just because it's population. It's kind of crazy that they actually don't have a single big four sports team at this point. And if they got one, I do believe the demand would be extremely high and they would do very, very well, especially if it is the NBA, but really also the MLB I mean, the NFL is not expanding or relocating anytime soon, and if they do, it's it's just not going to be to Louisville, so it's kind of different with the NFL, and then also NHL. I don't really know the type of you know NHL atmosphere in Kentucky. I'm thinking the NHL probably needs to go up to Canada, but either way, Louisville comes in at number three. At number two, it is Virginia Beach, Virginia. So I did read that the state of Virginia was the biggest state in terms of population not to have a single big four professional sports team, you know, as their home team. So I chose Virginia Beach. You could choose Chesapeake. You could choose Richmond. You could choose Winston-Salem. But I do like Virginia Beach. It's a great vibe. I would say probably an MLB team would fit them the best, but you you could also argue NBA. Either way, Virginia Beach, simply too big. It's the biggest city in Virginia out of the ones that I mentioned. So I would say Virginia. I mean, it's just, it's long overdue at this point for Virginia to get at least one professional sports team. And I think it would do very well just based off of demand. There's no other team in the state That is in the pro. So Virginia Beach, Virginia comes in at number two. And then number one, which city needs a pro sports team that currently doesn't have one more than anyone else? Number one is Austin, Texas. It's just remarkable, the growth of Austin, Texas. You've got Tesla coming there. You've got possibly the Twitter headquarters going there. You have huge numbers in terms of population, you know, growth over the past 10 years. So many people moving in from California. You know, they're dealing with the high crime. They want to leave and go somewhere, but they still want that city feel. That's what Austin, Texas kind of has turned into. So just there's way too many people in Austin, Texas not to have some type of professional sports team. I know they have the MLS team. They just built the new stadium for like $250 million. But I would say the NFL is not open for business. But if they were for an expansion team at this point, maybe in the late 2020s, but I would say let's have Elon Musk get an expansion team in Austin, Texas and build a super stadium that costs $15 billion dollars. That's what I would suggest, but either way, I mean, Austin, Texas, it's got to be number one. Who is the first 
major sport to really dip their toe and and which investor really wants to get into that market because it is untapped, it is growing, and there is so much, you know, in terms of just the growth of the city based off of all the people moving in from California, moving in from New York City, you know, to the to places like that. So it's becoming a big, big city. So it comes in at number one on my list of cities that deserve a professional sports team. You could also argue maybe as an honorable mention, Hamilton, Canada for a, for a, you know, NHL team, obviously, but Hamilton, maybe. The thing is, when I was looking up statistics and, and population for this video, t most of the cities that currently don't have any for the major sports are located in California, they're located in Florida, you know, they're located in bigger states that already have other multiple sports teams, so it just, it doesn't make sense for the MLB, like Orlando is pitching a team right now, and it's like, we know you have the population, but we've already kind of done this before, you know, with Tampa Bay and, and the Marlins, and it just hasn't worked out, so you have to be very strategic. The, the places that I went with, and like I tried to mix it up and go with different states and really spread it out. Like in my number six spot, I went with Canada uh, and Quebec, the Providence. In my number five spot, I went with Hawaii. In my number four spot, I went with Nebraska. I'm talking about states. In my number three spot, I went with Kentucky. In my number two spot, I went with Virginia. And then number one, Texas. So I really don't think there's much of an incentive outside of the NHL possibly going to Houston well, I guess I did include a Texas team, so but I'm just saying, like, in terms of the expansion, when you look at the major population centers that don't have any teams, they're all in California, you know, there's some of them are in Florida, but it's like I just don't think there's that big of an incentive to have even more teams, more professional sports teams in the state. You go to Nebraska, you're literally the only team in the state. There is a high demand for that. I know the population isn't that big, but still, it's the same thing with Virginia as well. It would be the same thing with Hawaii. You're trying to find just high demand for teams. And that's why I picked these cities kind of strategically in that sense, trying to spread it out to different states that don't have any professional teams. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.